Hey guys, I'm Chef Wong of Fiery Pot Kitchen. In this video today, I would show you how to prepare five different ways of cooking tenderized pork chop for the month of April each week there will be a new way of cooking tenderized pork chop also before I forget I would show you at the beginning just how to tenderize your pork chop using two different ways one by bruising the pork chop next way would be using baking soda on the pork chops and having them marinate or rest for about an hour if you I'm showing you two ways because if you're in a hurry and you want to cook your pork chop like now you can tenderize it by using a mullet if you have time you can tenderize it by using the baking soda and having it rest for about an hour but you would see how it's done in this video also I will be showing you how to add the mixtures or the season that you have home already instead of having to buy extra seasoning if you have things like your black pepper garlic powder paprika salt and thyme those things you could combine together also basil basil leaves you can bind together and just sprinkle them over sprinkle them over your meat and you'll get the same or just as good results that any of those product that you have to buy pre-mix so let's get started on this video today I will be showing you how to season and bake some tenderized pork chop first I will show you how to tenderize the pork chop next step would be where I would add the seasonings and I'd sprinkle them over the pork chop you put it in the baker have it baked for about 45 minutes then you'll see the results so let's get started okay if you can see on this top that I have all the ingredients set the first thing I would do now I will show you how to tenderize your meat and this goes for any meat by using a mullet so if you have one of these little gadget home and didn't know what it was used for this was used was made for tenderizing meat or poultry so what we're going to do is start by placing two slices of pork chop We close this bag and we'll use the mullet to tenderize each each side by hitting it hard enough not to tear the meat but to just mash the meat and you can do that on both sides now what would happen with this meat if you use it a piece of steak the meat would be deformed by you hitting it, but try not to tear up the meat. But the difference is when you cook the meat, everything would come back together. You'd also that would give you a nice solid meat, and it'd also be tenderized. So this is one way of doing it. The other way, I would show you, is to add. The so baking soda. This one is going to take a at least an hour before you can use it. And after it's been tenderized for an hour, what you need to do is 
you make sure that you rinse all of the baking soda off the meat then you can go ahead and you can season it so by using I would use rub a tablespoon of baking soda on each on half on each side and rub that into the meat well Drop this into the meat well and just cover. Cover this, either in a plastic wrap. In this case, I just use the cover from the container. I will refrigerate this for about an hour. After refrigeration, we take this out, rinse off all of the baking soda. Then we would add the seasoning, which I will show you in just a minute. Let me have an black pepper, crushed pepper, paprika, some basil, salt, garlic, and some lemon juice, lemon or lime juice. In this case with the garlic, if you have, I'm using fresh garlic, but if you have garlic powder, not garlic salt, garlic powder, you can use that instead of the fresh garlic. So what I do is I place this in the fridge, let this marinate for about an hour. Then I come back, rinse, and I mix the seasoning. So after this one has been marinated, I would go ahead and we'll season this and then we'll bake. We would mix the seasoning together. We have a half teaspoon of crushed pepper and the next half teaspoon of black pepper we have a half teaspoon of paprika we have a quarter teaspoon of basil leaf some salt teaspoon of salt when you mix these together and we will sprinkle these over over the meat Now what I want to do is in some videos you'd see if you find somebody is uh, marinating or beating these meat what they would do is sometimes they would season the meat before they bruise it but in my case I mean that is each is on in my case what I do is I bruise the meat first then I take it out and I rinse the meat like I do here, and then I season. So just the two that I bruise with the mullet. And like I say, if you, there's two ways of doing tenderizing the meat. One is to marinate with the baking soda. That takes a lot, an hour, maybe overnight, 24 hours, depending on the time you have. By using the mullet, you can just bruise it, rinse it, and you can just go ahead and season and cook like I do in this case so I rinse I bruise it I beat it now I just add the seasoning to it and you add this on on both sides
Get out of the lime juice. And what we do is we'll put these in the baker and have them bake and see what the results look like. So I'll be back to show you the seasoning of the ones that I made or I marinated and tenderized by using the baking soda. Okay now we had this marinated for about an hour. What I would do is make a, a bath that I can rinse these in. Try to get up all of that marinated sort of baking soda that I use on this. But even though I rinse it here, I would take this to the top and just re-rinse this again to ensure that all that soda is off. The reason for that is you need to make ensure that everything is taken off because if you don't, chances are your meat, after seasoning it and cooking, your meat would have an off taste. So these would be re rinse again and I would season and bake and I'll show you the results. So guys, if this is your first time watching any of my video, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and also subscribe to this channel. So just look forward for the next five weeks in April. That I will be showing you different ways of cooking pork chops. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.